What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. You saw the thumbnail, we're gonna talk about it, but first I wanna update you on what else Pegasus has been uh, up to since the last video that I did on them a little while back. So let me dive into that and then we'll get into the boss. Just a quick recap of the video, I'll link it down below if you wanna go watch it. First off, they released the Pegasus Zeus. I don't think there was an official name for it. Uh, I, I quite honestly don't remember if there is now but that is going to be a type A2 all electric bus. Still not sure how I feel about it, but it's an option now. Then they showed renderings for their type A on a Ford chassis, which really looks like a minnow tour to me. Uh, you know, it, it's fine. I don't have anything against it yet. They also released activity versions of both of these and said that there were going to be more buses to come. So here is one of those. This is a rendering of their Chevy type A. Doesn't look too bad. Generally, I prefer the Ford chassis on Type A school buses, but I I don't have anything against this one yet either. I think that I just need to see a, an actual model, whether that's in person or just pictures and not just a rendering. Uh, overall, I'm I'm okay with it right now. And then they're also showing renderings of the activity version of the same bus as well. Also, I don't believe that they had an actual name for this bus but it is called the Pegasus Orion. All right, so here's why you clicked on this video. I'm really excited about this. This is the Pegasus Atlas. So as you can see, this is on a Peterbilt chassis. I believe it's one of the Peterbilt 530 chassis. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but I think that this pairing actually works fairly well and I gotta admit, I'm kind of a fan of it. I showed this to Noah a couple minutes ago he did not feel that way uh, and pretty much just said, what am I looking at? But I think that's just because we have never seen a Peterbilt chassis on a school bus before. Now, I've mentioned this before on the channel and to other people, but I have always, I, I just have been waiting to see other chassis come into the mix, such as Peterbilt or Kenworth or Mac. You know, some of these have been in the game before, but dipped out a long time ago. But as far as I remember, Peterbilt has never been in at all. But yeah, like I said, um, I think that this combination works surprisingly well. And um, I, I'm definitely a fan of this. Obviously, I want to see it in person before I make any final um, judgments of it, but... I, this is definitely better than what they have been putting out. And this is probably um, my favorite completely new addition to this school bus lineup. Because we've seen a lot of new stuff recently. I think that this is my favorite so far. Now, unfortunately, this is the only picture that I have of it. But from what I'm gathering, I assume that this is going to be like one of the Type A2s where there's a whole driver's door on there but from what i've been reading this could also be the size of a type c let's dive into that a little bit all right so here is the website obviously pegasus atlas by peterbilt i'll show you a picture of the shuttle bus here once we're done but right here is really the only information that we have on the bus so far now here's an interesting point uh, the fourth point under standard equipment says electric so I'm not sure if the bus is going to be electric because if you look at Peterbilt's website, they don't list the 530 series as one of their electric offerings. So I, I, I don't know if the bus is going to be electric or not. I assume that they might. If you remember from the last video, Pegasus was working with another company. I believe it was called Phoenix Motor Cars or something along those lines. And that company was dedicated to making non-electric vehicles electric. So they very well could be doing the same thing with this. I don't exactly know because there's not a whole lot of information here. The next point down, I absolutely love. And I think that this should be standard across all manufacturers. LED standard. I mean, come on. It looks better as an enthusiast, but it's also a lot brighter which makes it more visible, which means more people might stop. And, you know, there's there's a lot of benefits to LED. Uh, they'll last longer than incandescence. So I'm glad to see that 
they're fully embracing LED standard on this. Here's some more things I'm really happy with under more standard equipment. Black framed tinted glass. I'm personally a huge fan of that and again I believe that belongs on all buses. White roof same exact thing. There's also some more standard stuff on there. Child check, uh, roof hatches, push out windows. If you look at the last point on there, driver's step. So I'm pretty sure that confirms that there's going to be an actual driver's door because of that. And going back to the Type-C, the max capacity is 77 passengers, which is the, you know, that, that's a pretty standard Type-C size right there. So we, we essentially have another Type-C that is being offered. I don't know if it's going to be marketed as a type C or a type A2. So from what I'm gathering, they're doing a lot of good stuff, at least to me. I don't know, maybe maybe you don't like all of the stuff with uh, white roof, standard LED lighting, whatever, you know, personal spec choices. But I think that a lot of this stuff is going to be more beneficial overall. All right, let's take a quick look at the shuttle bus. Pretty much the same exact thing as a school bus, just, you know, not a school bus. <laughs> Again, overall, not too bad. All right, so there we go. That's about all the information that I have so far. I will try to do more videos if there is more information released on this or any others that they plan on doing. But they had been teasing this one for quite a while, saying, oh, we have a big announcement, uh, you know, all this stuff. And this is you know this is a pretty good announcement and i don't think that there's going to be uh any more buses released from them in the near future but now we're actually going to see these start to come out and be actual products they said that this is going to debut in november so we'll see a actual model then I'm really excited to see that, and I believe that uh, the Orion and the Pegasus Zeus will be at the STN Expo next month in July. So overall, I think that they're doing a pretty good job. I personally like this bus so far from what we've seen and what we know of it, but I'm not the only one out there. So let me know what you guys think about this bus down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it should be on a different chassis? Do you think that it fits well? Let's have a conversation about it, and I'm really interested to hear what you have to say about it. Anyways, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it, I don't care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or uh, they are going to stop making all these announcements and we're not going to know anything until they just debut out of nowhere. And make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And thanks for watching.